Welcome. My name is Terry Soule, and this is a video on initialization in programming languages using Scratch as an example. So initialization is the idea of basically setting up the conditions so that your program will run correctly. In particular, things like making sure your variables have the right initial values. It's important in all programming languages, um, and we can see it in particular pretty clearly in Scratch. And so I've already started my project here. I have as the background the school scene, and I have Scratch the cat and a dog. And I just, as an example, want to do a very simple program, sort of typical for Scratch, with two interacting sprites. So Scratch will come in, start on the left, move across, say hi, pause. The dog will start on the right, come in, say hi, and then something like let's go, and then I want both of them to leave the screen to the right and disappear. So our sort of typical little mini scene in Scratch. And so I'll start with Scratch and say, well, I want Scratch to start over here, and I'm going to do the normal thing. So when the green flag is clicked, I'm going to make this a little bigger. There we go. When the green flag is clicked, I want Scratch to move to there, so to glide across. And so I'll go glide to that location. And a reminder, handy in Scratch, if you put the sprite where you want them to be, that changes the variables over here. So I moved Scratch to where I wanted Scratch to be, and then could just put in the glide. And so now I want Scratch to say something. I'm going to do something simple, like let's say, hello for two seconds, and I'm going to have to adjust this as I go, um, and then wait for a couple of seconds for the dog to speak, and then afterwards I want Scratch to glide off the edge of the screen. There we go. So again, I will glide to that location. Sorry, not to a random position. There we go. Glide to that location, and then let's hide. So move in, say hi, wait a little bit. I'm waiting two seconds and then glide off and hide. And for the dog, I want something similar, but to interact the other way. So right away, I have the problem of the dog facing in the wrong direction. So I can go to motion. And some of you may be saying, wait a minute, this isn't the right way to do it. You are correct. That's part of what I'm demonstrating. Um, but I want certainly the dog to be flipped around 180 degrees. So I'll just click on that. There we go. Unfortunately, that flips the dog upside down. So I need to set the rotation style to left, right. Click on that. Whoops, pull it off. Click on the 180 degrees. There we go. Facing in the right direction. Again, I want the dog to sort of glide to the center. So when the green flag is clicked, I'll pick the right location, that's about right, and glide to that location. And then the cat says hi for a second, so I'm going to have the dog wait for one second while the cat talks. And then I'll go back to looks and say, let's just say hi for one second. And then we'll say, let's go for one second. And then I want the dog to turn around and leave the screen. So again, I will put in a turn 180 degrees. I want to glide to the edge of the screen over here. So glide to that location. And hide. So the dog starts there. I'll put scratch here. They're going to glide. They're going to talk. The dog is going to say, let's go, turn around, and then they're going to leave and hide. So here we go. Let's see how well I've got this set up. OK, 
Okay, timing's a little off, but works pretty much pretty well. So that's about what I want. And now if I run this again, doesn't look like anything is happening. Now notice when I run it, I'll run it again, my code block is lighting up in yellow. So that tells me, oh, something is happening, but I don't see anything on the screen. Well, the reason for that is at the end of running it the last time, they both hid, and so they're both hidden. And so this is what I mean by initialization, because they hid at the end of the last time I ran it, that persists. They are still hidden, so they may be moving around and talking, but we can't see any of it. So one option would be to put in a show, and I'll click on it, and sure enough, Scratch shows back up, and now if I hit run, glides backwards to the right place, but glides backwards, and then leaves and disappears. And now if I want to run it again, I have to hit show to get Scratch to show back up. And notice the dog hasn't shown up at all, and Scratch is moving the wrong way because Scratch is at the wrong location to begin with. So the issue here is I don't have any setup that works right. So my characters are not in the right position, they're not even shown. And this is what I mean by initialization. You have to initialize your variables, you have to initialize the conditions. If you wanna think about this in terms of like a movie set, this is where the director says, places everyone and you need everyone to go to their places and so for scratch i need to do things like well make sure that scratch shows himself um, and in fact i'm going to borrow that show again and then i also need to make sure that scratch goes to the right location to the right place to get started so under motion i want scratch to begin by going to that location and in fact I probably want to go to that location before Scratch shows up. In fact, I might even, if I wanted to be very sort of consistent, I might say, regardless, Scratch should hide, go to the right location, and then show up in the right location so that we don't see Scratch moving to whatever the right location is. Um, and then we can go to the dog and say sort of the same kind of thing. I want the dog to show up right away and I want the dog to go to the right location. So, and then let's do a hide first as well. And I'm gonna make this a little bigger, there we go. So same idea, hide, go to wherever the starting location is, show yourself. And so now if I hit go, ah, but now the dog is facing the wrong direction. So I could start by saying turn 180 degrees. So there, now I've turned the dog around. Oh wait, I didn't need to turn the dog around because it turned around so it was facing the right way. So you can see this gets very complicated, especially when your characters are hidden at the end of the scene. In this case, I don't wanna turn 180 degrees at all. What I wanna do is go to motion and use an absolute. So instead of turning, I want to point in the right direction. So again, I want the dog to hide, and then I want to make sure that they are pointing in the right direction, which should be minus 90. So not only do I need the dog to be at the right location, I need it pointing in the right direction. And maybe to get things to go a little smoother, I'll have Scratch only wait for like 1.1 seconds and we can run it again. And notice I run it again. They start in the right location. They start facing in the right direction because I have this setup code to get everything started properly. If you were making a game, this would be things like setting the score to zero or setting the level counter to level one. It's initializing all of the conditions so that everything works properly. And no matter what programming language you're working in, that's one of the things you have to think about. In Scratch, you do it as some blocks of code. Um, in other languages, it might be more explicit. So there are languages like processing where there's a whole separate setup function 
that is used to set up those variables. So in designing any program, it's important to think in those two parts. How do I set things up? How do I initialize the variables and the environment so everything runs right? And then once everything is set up, now I can worry about how to run the program. And as you can see, you can run into lots of very weird errors where the program will work right the first time and not the second time, which is a hard error to track down if you've forgotten to handle all of your initialization properly. Excellent. Thank you.